Hi guys, um, today I'm going to, I saw my last video I reviewed Stolen Songbook by Daniel L. Jensen, and today I'm going to be reviewing Hidden Hundreds by Daniel L. Jensen. So like I said in my other video, like if you want to know what the whole synopsis of this series is, go check out Stolen Songbook, I basically say a lot of it, probably missed some stuff. Like I didn't mention the Half-Blood thing, like which is interesting, with the rebellion, like Half-Bloods are like Half-Blood fights, and like which is a totally like really good uh, storyline of this book, so anyways, anything else? mention this book so if you haven't read this go check this out and it's an awesome book and i've read this book three times now it's so good but okay huntress i've read twice which is an awesome book also by daniel jensen obviously so good so so mostly like if you haven't read this book yet and you have been still in songbook it takes place um cecile is now in Trian Trianon with her mom living with her mom being a singer being successful but like secretly she's doing all this when she's like meeting people you know living this like fancy life that she hasn't really lived besides when she was with the trolls and then like she lived with like her dad and the farm so like three different like so like, Cecile has like you know like the fancy like humble like the humble life and the farm like this royal life and with the trolls and then like that's like fancy like hollywood like famous life with the which is not hollywood it's like some tri my talent tree and like a high fancy looking town like Lord of the Rings or something. No, I don't know. But anyways, but yeah. But anyways. And she's, but see, like, she's looking for Anushka the witch so she can, you know, kill her so, like, they can figure out the trolls, like, figure out the things with the trolls, the cost of the trolls. So, in this book, she, um, she's doing that. And Tristan, you know, how he betrayed, in the last book, she, he betrayed the half-bloods and, you know, betrayed his father and everything and, like, his dad had got a big fight at the end. But, so he's in prison, like, Tristan's in prison he's gone through, like, torture and, like, I think he got whipped, I think. Yeah, but he has, like, on each, like, on, he has, like, eight, um, like, iron rings, but trolls are, like, can't, like, iron hurt them, and takes their powers, so, like, he has, like, six, like, eight iron rings on each arm, so, like, he can't have, like, his powers. And we know Tristan is the most powerful troll in the whole entire, um, in Trollus, so, he's in prison, and in the beginning, uh, it's, like, been, it's been two months, so it's been, it's been three months, because she's, um, Cecilia was a month at home, and she spent two months in Trian, so it's been three months since the first book. And so this is, but Tristan's been in, like, prison, like, been tortured for three months now. So in the beginning of the book, uh, Seal, like, you see her, like, for, as a performance or something, but she goes, right after that, like, pretty soon she goes right to Torlis at the end, like, where the barrier is, and meets the king, and he brings Tristan out, and she sees, like, Roland, too, and I don't know, but anyways, but she sees the king, and he gives her a deal that to bring Anushka to Torlis. Um... And she makes a deal, like, so she's, like, wants anything for Tristan to be okay. And Tristan's there, and he, like, tells her never to come, he told her never to come back. And, and she sees how, like, beat up he is. And so, obviously, she agrees to the king, because she knows she wants Tristan to be okay. So, she does that. And then we basically, and then Tristan gets let out, like, right after that. But he still has, like, one iron thing on him. He got rid of the other four on each arm. So, he only has two instead of eight. So, then... And then we just kind of see their lives like that for a long time. The one thing I don't, like, I love Hannah Trust. Like, it's totally worth the wait. Like, it takes, like, two, page 250, 60? 258, I think, when they stop meeting. They, like, finally come together, those two. I don't know if it's spoiled or not, but, like, this book is, like, a long book. It's, like, 450-some pages. So, like, it's pretty long. So, like, so it's totally worth the wait. Because once they get it, it's, like, awesome. We're, like, loving it again. Like, Tristan is a CEO. It's so good. But, um, anyways, um. So, um, um, yeah, so anyway, so, like, they, they're, like, together, and they're, like, they're not together, but, like, they're, like, living, like, like, you just see how they, like, they're, they're you just, I don't know, anyways, but you'll read it, you'll read it when you find out. So, anyways, but it's a really good book, and you definitely see the characters develop, and you see who they are as characters, and it's a really good book. So, if you haven't read it, interest in it, read it, and come back and discuss with us. If you have it, stay, and we can discuss it. So, anyways, bye! Okay, so... I don't know, I love Hen and Tris. Like, the one part, I think, I love seeing, like, Tristan's, like, um, character develop. Like, I just think that was, like, really interesting to see, because you don't, we don't see that as much. Like, in the first book, he's just, like, you know, it's, like, cocky, like, um, like, kind of, like, arrogant, like, mighty, like, crown prince. He has, like, a secret life who has everything planned out for him. You know, he's, like, in charge of everything, has to control everything, but he's, like, this really good character and really good person. And, like, in this book, we see him, like, he's, like, hit rock bottom, like, he's, he's, like, he's not the heir of the family anymore, Bolton is, and he's just, like, he, he's been in prison for the past three months, and, like, now he's not anymore, like, he's, 
so now like he's let out and he doesn't have any servants he's like gotten like everything he's like known for so like taken away from him besides he's living in the castles like we see that like how he's like we see him as just like this prince in the game book but he also is like now book how he's not he's like who we thought he was obviously but he's like what we see his faults why like how he realized that he was like sometimes like you know like didn't like trust people like he should have like he didn't trust half blood like if like, then like when he goes and talks to um dang what is his name um the guy who works in the mines oh my gosh tips tips like i said tips in the mines and like the whole scene when i'm getting proud of stuff but the whole scene when tristan goes to the mines and how he says like how tristan like sees tristan, tristan as this like fearless character or, like you know he doesn't like he's just you know he has like he's like totally like totally got everything in control like has has his life together like like he's wants you know what he wants like we see like in this how he doesn't like the mines and how like at all and like we see that and i thought it was interesting to see like tristan like this vulnerable state and um so that was like interesting um and then he goes in the mines and like how tips and it's like kind of making fun of him you know like mocks there too and then like how mock finds out a lot of things that tristan did about what when penelope died and how like mock is like you know mad about that and i just see like how people like i feel like ton against like an ananas they think is alive and they realize it's lassa who i was like Whoa, I remember the first time I read that, I was like, oh my gosh. But, and like, we see how, like, you know, Tristan's like the mines. He, like, he, like, didn't trust the half bloods and he'd like, um, to, like, help them because Tip's like, oh yeah, of course we would have helped Cecile. Like, you didn't have to, like, betray us. Um, and then, like, how then he, um, had, like, you know, build trust, half bloods, um, trust again, and how he, um, did that thing with Mock. You know, it was the right thing, in my opinion, to do. Um, like, Penelope went over and Mock to die, you know, because she loved him. Um, and then we see how, like, how Tristan talks about how and Penelope had, like, the last conversation, like, you think that, like, that Tristan probably thought that Penelope didn't like him because they argued the last time, so I thought it was interesting. And then, um, how Tristan has, like, lived, like, long to, like, you know, do his own laundry, like, cook, and, like, all these things that he hasn't, like, ever done his whole life, but he has to learn to do that since he doesn't have servants and he's not, like, been treated like a prince. Um, I don't have faults that we see. What was the other one? I don't know, I just, like, and, like, how he doesn't have his full power back, because the Ion's been on and he's been weak, and he still has, like, that Ion, so, like, he has been, has, like, his full, like, powerful prince, most powerful guy in the whole entire trollist person, so, like, that was interesting to see that he wasn't, you know, that person anymore, um, or, like, template, he gets back to that person, um, I just thought the whole thing was interesting. Oh, and then how, like, Lessa, how he said he's only, like, talked to Lessa really before. Like, that, that like, when they were arguing the first time they talked, how she confronts her. How, like, that's the first time they've ever had a conversation. And, like, how, like, they were sisters, like, still, but on sister, but, like, they never, like, he never, like, really acknowledged her as much. And I thought that was interesting that, I don't know, I just thought that was, I just, like, probably a controversial thing. But, who knows. Anyways. Not um... Uh, so yeah, I just, I think you see Tristan as a character, how we, like, who he still was, but we don't, like, we don't, like, the first book doesn't focus on that, just because Tristan has, like, this, like, you know, control, like, he was this, like, person who, like, has everything together, had, like, this whole rebellion, like, leader of this rebellion, um, he was a sympathizer, he was a crown prince, he was gonna, like, bring Trollis back to how it was, and how knew, like, the curse, like, shouldn't be broken, didn't, like, want everything released out on the world, so I think that was, like, interesting, um, so yeah, and I just, and we also see, like, how, bad his like kid king is and how like volan is and just how everything i will learn they when they spot can never master the name like how we just see how that's like not the best they're not good people at all and it's just how tristan is a good person and i just really think that and i mean you see when tristan like builds up the half bloods like it's just like i think that whole scene like we see tristan grow so much as a character and like i think that's awesome those scenes with tristan are so awesome i think it really carries book long because like it was a seal i really like seal scenes too but like i also think and I was like, her mom, like, I don't like her, well, obviously, but like, um, it's like, I'm sorry, I know a lot of stuff, but anyways, but like, um, uh, we know all how this her mom, but anyways, but like, uh, like, all those scenes, like, her mom was not, like, the nicest, and like, she just, like, liked the fame and everything, and like, we see her story what happened, but also, you know, like, she, like, left her children, like, she did not, wasn't the best, and like, she's not the best person, but so, I don't know. But anyways, like, it still seems like how she's, like, living this, like, different life, but she's also looking for Anushka, and, like, how she, like, you know, is looking for her, and, like, that, like, this seems a little bit slower, but it's definitely worth the wait, and, like, we see what Cecile's doing, what she's walking to do, and, like, and, like, has to be, I think has to be in Kristoff, or, like, become more main characters in the book, like, it's weird, because, like, in the first book, like, it was, like, Mark and the twins, like, Aeneas, like, some, but, like, mostly, like, Mark and the twins, and they hate it anymore, and, like, this book, besides characters, like, Sabine and Kristoff way more, 
and then Mark and uh, Twins on it too, and like, but it's like, I don't know, just like more, we adding more characters, and um, we see more of a family in this book, which I like, but um, anyways, but I don't like talking about the movie too much, but then how like Cecilia like summons Tristan, how she kind of got into like the dark blood magic, which I thought was very interesting, I like, guess an interesting concept, how we had Cecilia being that person, being, you know, the getting into dark magic and I thought that was very interesting how she was just so desperate to have Tristan with her and then when Tristan she found his like true name and like how he came to her and that whole scene like I think we always see who Tristan was and how she realized that Tristan was her and she takes off his like eye on things and like when they come together I was like oh that's so nice and like they just kind of talk things out and like figure out how like because at first it was kind of this like cold thing like he was irritated with her finding her and like not irritated but like this one he was like he just like he realized what you know um uh, they just like you know they they came back together and like they talked and they figured things out and I just thought that was like really good scenes I just love how they're married like they're like oh my wife my husband I think that's like so cute like oh I love, I love them so much just because they're so cute but anyways um I just like all the scenes and like um yeah and how like they had this whole plan and the whole plan I thought I liked how they did all that that was interesting and I'm um, also how like they um they realized they had to go back to Trollis. Like, that was interesting. I like how Tristan and Cecile's relationship developed so much in this book. And, like, through, like, all the ways. But, um, it was just cool. And I love how they're married. Like, that, I really like how they're married. It's just so cute and, like, so adorable. It's cute. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah. And it really shows who they are. Anyways, um, um, what else? Oh, so when they, um, when Cecile goes to Trollis, that's, like, a scary scene. It's sad when Pierre dies. It's really sad. And how, like, they find that way in, and that was just, like, a really scary thing. I felt so bad for Cecilia, like, she went through a lot, like, in the book, like, how, like, she found Pierre up here, and then she, like, just that, so, mm, it's just, it's just, like, that scene's very scary, but we see how brave Seal is, and, like, and then, like, Elise saves her, that was so nice, and, like, I just love all that, and how she, Tristan, like, takes her back up, and they go back to Seal's house, which I love that scene, I love when they take Cecile, when Cecile and Tristan go back to her house, and then Cecile, like, gives her the horse, like, and she's like, Papa, this is my, this is my husband Tristan. And then, like, she goes in the house. And, like, Tristan's with her father. And, like, I think she's like, I like Shannon's like, oh, it's my husband. And, like, I just, like, liked all that. And how we see, like, Tristan's father was, like, you know, like, got, like, irritated with Tristan. Like, told Tristan's father. Cecile's father. Like, you know, like, you better tell me what it is. Like, I liked how, and then, like, you realize that Cecile's, like, really good. You know, Cecile's from a really good family and how, you, how they want to know everything. And so... I like how Tristan told him everything, like I trust him, like trust Louie and all that and now Tristan I love this when Tristan comes after he's done talking to Louie, he comes in the house and um and like Josh that Cecile's sister is like sitting there like making the food and she's like kinda like like you know, trying to like tell Tristan, like kinda like putting our stance in, like, you know, should I show loyalty to Cecile? Like what um all sorts of like, you know, I just like I like the conversation. That was a really like I really think you see how Cecile was and how Jessa was defending her and like not defending but like talking about her and Tristan how he was responding about everything and like it's just weird to see Tristan as the element because he's always so you know like confident and everything so that was like really interesting but then when um Jessa you know was like show me your powers you know I just thought that was like uh and then she like he like turned off the lights like lit up with like the orbs and like um um and she like reached him and he like lifted it up but like I just thought those scenes like and then like still comes around I was like you know I thought it was rude to ask a troll uses magic or something like that like that was so that was so cute that was so cool <laughs> like uh, i like that scene and then like immediately and then like turns around he's like her grandma's like staying with his like grand's like staying with her arms crossed and eventually he's like his lights on the fireplace back up like the orbs out and then like so drops it on the ground like i was like and stood up like, i love that scene it was a great scene and i just think the whole scene with that it's like cecile's house that they like see like cecile's life and everything and that was cool and then, like, that next morning, when they found, like, Elise had died, and they found her body, and the body's loaded to Seal's house, that is so sad, and, like, I felt so bad for Seal there, like, it just really, like, how she went through this trauma, time of like, thing, when the she was back in Trollis, and then, like, Elise, like, for a second, Elise, like, died, that was just, like, a sad, a sad thing, I thought, um, oh, yeah, of course, it was very sad, but, um, yeah, anyways, um, what else was I gonna say, um, um, anyways, but when they go back to Trollis, and, like, and they had to, like, they find Anushka, and, like, it was her mom, like, that was, like, that whole scene was, like, you know, like, like, they went to the spots, like, Tristan and Cecile, like, she was trying to, like, reach them, but, like, just, like, that whole scene was, like, epic, and, like, 
and they find her and she like kills in this car and like I don't know, like those were like that was a good thing. I really liked the ending scenes, like they were just good and how like they were fighting for each other and how they knew like Tristan and Cecilia I think really know how like they can respond to each other. I just liked those whole scenes. I thought it was like good plot lines too. And then how like they then like, you know, like the cross is released and then how like the dragon comes and Tristan kills the dragon. I um and the first time I read it, I didn't like realize he killed the dragon. But the second time I read it I was like, Oh, he killed the dragon and I thought like, you just I think that seems so epic because like you know Cecilia like kills the kills um Anushka and like you see how pow we see how powers who well we see like how smart Cecilia is and how brave she is and how knows who Cecilia is and then like the second and then we see Tristan like kill a dragon we see how like, Tristan you know he's back with full power he kills a dragon like we see how powerful Tristan is and I always love Tristan's power so like that was like so interesting and everything to see like, Tr Tristan be so like you know powerful and how and Tristan's like oh you know my only hope you guys on you you only hope is me like to get like you know like how the troll like everything like the fae and like the trolls are gonna come and you know who knows what's gonna happen so like oh i love this book so much oh my gosh but yeah so that was also interesting i love playing huntress you know five or five stars along with soul and song love five or five stars these books are amazing if anyone loves high fantasy and fantasy i like i should have said that like, but anyways but you guys love these books i'm so glad you read them and like share them with me because they're so good and like they're amazing but anyways i'm trying to think what else Anything else I went down? But yeah, they're amazing books. Um, yeah, so they're both incredible. I love both of them. Favorite scenes: Ten Huntress. So, Ten Huntress is um, I don't know. I would like to see when they went to the uh, house. I like scenes between Cecile and Tristan. Like any Cecile scene between Cecile and Tristan is amazing. I don't know. Probably wouldn't think with the house. Anyways, but yeah, so these are great scenes. The great books. Of this book with amazing, incredible, incredible, incredible. So, definitely, I love these so much. Just look, I'm so excited for Voyage, which comes out on Tuesday. So, like, two days, two days, two days, 48 hours. You know, I'll be pumped. You know, see, we'll love Voyage, which will be awesome. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.